need a thumbnail. Tricep. Thumbnail. Yeah, Max, I've been watching you, buddy. I know how to do this shit. I know how to play the game. You want the game, YouTube? You want to censor my curse words? You want to not put my videos in the subscription box? Can't stop the sexy thumbnails. Put a fucking pipe and smoke it, you fuck fake ass photographers. Goddamn dime a dozen, all you little bitches and your fucking sick angles. Yeah, you, Max Tuning. How do you feel about that, buddy? How was that sick angle? Shove that sick angle right up your fucking pie hole. So my back got a little angry on me. You can even feel it. If you guys want to come here and feel it. Uh, <clears throat> I talk about being injured and being hurt. And uh, I don't get injured a lot. Uh, but I get hurt a lot. Um, now that I power lift. I was lucky enough when I played basketball. Nothing ever fucking happened. I never. Even if I sprained an ankle. It would be like hobble for like three seconds. And then keep going. Uh, I never had to skip a game because of injury. Uh, but when I start to really push myself here in this powerlifting game. Uh, everyone, but bumps and bruises happen. So I do have a reoccurring issue where uh, kind of the right side of my back locks up on me um, and it just makes it very painful to squat or uh, deadlift. And, and e even if I could, you know, chug uh, five of these and snort some a, a, a leave or Tylenol or something, um, it's not, uh, it's not. Uh, Leading me to progress if I, if I was to squat and deadlift and just push through it because it's just going to lock up worse um, And then the recovery aspects can be harder and harder as, as I get more knots or, or whatever's going on uh, kind of in my right erector glute type deal, so um, I'll dig into it a little bit. I'll watch my posture a little uh, extra betters uh, I did a little bit of stretching just to kind of get my like glute meat and stuff, uh, but it's still pretty angry People talk about it all the time like oh my shoulder rolls forward when I bench like we spent like an hour maybe three hours in the gym, you know, four or five times a week. Our posture, our, our uh, uh, not being symmetrical all comes when we sleep, our posture at our desk, our posture when we're watching TV and things like that. So uh, probably just got a little lazy and started leaning to one side and then it, um, you know, it, got, it escalated. Things escalated quickly here in the gym. So that's why my hamstring kind of feels tight, low back feels tight, everything's kind of just locked up on that right side. So. Uh, I wanted to squat heavy single today, but it probably won't happen. So I'll probably just do some lunges, get some blood in the legs if, if it doesn't hurt. And then uh, heavy bench, chin-ups, arms, the huge. Come along with us. Hey, comment below what the hell you want to learn. I feel like I cover everything and then everyone, we have new people or people that forget. They comment. You I just don't know. Don't read I, I read, I read, I read, I read, I comment back, I try to teach. I spend shit. 20 hours of my fucking 24 hours trying to answer you little bits. Uh, I can't even cuss. I'm trying to answer you fine gentlemen and ladies and teach you how to fucking, teach you how to freaking lift. Somebody did comment that they don't like the cussing. Like, I actually prefer it clean. All right, Will Smith, stop watching my videos. Here's a tip for you fine gentlemen. When your back hurts, sometimes we gotta bench with our feet up. Squat bench and dead, although it's very common and possible to get all of them strong at the same time in the sh same training cycle, because a lot of people ask the question like, oh, I'm just gonna focus on my squat this cycle. You probably don't need to do that. Very, very, very few people need to specialize in that. You just need a well-balanced program. Um, but one, one thing that can happen is if you uh, deadlift or, or squat a lot of volume or heavy and you're a little beat up, it can um, obviously mess up the next training session for the other ones. So, uh, I'll warm up with my feet up and then see if I can get them down, but if not, uh, it might just be a feet up day because that back's a little tight. We'll still get work done. Uh, what ref scheme would a beginner uh, deadlifts do? So, um, Coming back from an injury or a beginner, uh, often people think like, oh, they'll do sets of eight to 12 to build muscle and build reps, 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 uh, or light weights, higher reps, get more practice in. Um, but for both cases, what we'd probably wanna do is shorten the reps. We probably wanna do like ones to maybe even threes, maybe fives. I know starting strength, you do fives, but I'm more of a fan of one to threes uh, for most cases because you can get more quality work. So if you do five sets of three, uh, that's 15 reps, and hopefully they're all perfect because you're not tired or fatigued by the end. Rather than if you do three sets of five, um, 
chances are you just have more crappier reps. So uh, any beginner, just go light, uh, something that you feel you can very comfortable with and start doing sets of three with long breaks in between. When we're starting to train like strength training, uh, power, strength, uh, etc. We want full recovery in between. You don't want to be fatigued in between your sets. That's a whole different other type of training. Um, so power lifting, weight lifting, um, <clears throat> off season of sport, sprinting, plyometrics. When you're doing these, uh, you want less reps, uh, ones to fives, and um, <clears throat> long breaks so you can perform them perfectly every single time. That's why you guys see me dicking around in between sets on the grams. I feel more hardcore with no lift off. Someone asked me earlier about touching uh, into my stomach or touching into my nipples on the bench press. Uh, and if you guys refer back uh, to a video I talked about elbow positioning uh, and tucking your elbows on the bench, basically all we're trying to do is uh, stack our limbs and uh, keep our shoulders down and back. So if that's the case, wherever you're gonna touch, you're gonna touch. I don't purposely try to touch on the stomach or touch uh, on my nipples. And people mention the nipple line for a good place to touch. Look, let's be honest here. We've all seen National Geographic. We all have varying nipple heights and varying nipple locations. So we can't really just say that. And even just based on how long our bicep is, um, we just don't wanna be dumping. So we don't uh, wanna touch the stomach necessarily and get my elbow behind the bar. I want the elbow under the bar on my shoulder tucked and then the rest will kind of fall in place. So if your shoulder's tucked down and back and your elbow's under, if not just in front of the bar when you touch, the rest will be fine. Most of my socks are from Stance. I'm not sponsored yet. Uh, and then the outfit, as always, typically Reebok. All the info's in the link below if you guys wanna ever shop the things I like from Reebok. I've got a little store set up for you guys to check it out. Um, but no store from Stance yet. We're gonna go fly the drone. It's a nice day out. I don't feel like lifting weights. We'll get a couple more sets in. hurt the back a little bit. Then we'll move on to some sex accessories. Accessories that make you sexy. I'd like to say I coined that. Good boy bullshit. Yeah, Max, I've been watching you, buddy. I know how to do this shit. I know how to play the game. You want the game, YouTube? You want to censor my curse words? You want to not put my videos in the subscription box? Can't stop the sexy thumbnails. Soon they're gonna censor my arms. That's how fucking illegal these things are. Get a message from YouTube. I'm sorry, sir. The sexometer with your accessories is way overdue. I'm gonna flip some fucking tires and go viral on the internet. <laughs> 